Right, we did do a video regarding uh, bringing up body parts and it just sparked up quite a bit of extra questions. So I feel perhaps to re-answer this question in more detail. So I'm gonna try and be as accurate as I can. Um, so what we touched upon before is we assumed that nutrition was good and we assumed that there is a recovery uh, strategy in place. In other words, that, that muscle is recovering. But I guess, uh, I guess for the sake of the answer, we can't take those things for granted. So first of all, we must understand that each body part or something uh, or different different stages of our prep, we recover differently or different stages of our body composition. So we must understand the recovery point and when we are training that particular body part. So if we're training a, a body part that is lagging constantly after a very big session or we are adding that body part at the end of a session that, where you're already tired, then obviously you're not going to get the greatest stimulus. So what are we looking in order for, to grow? We're looking for uh, a response, uh, protein synthesis increase in the area, and we are looking for uh, muscle damage. Now, yes, that has to be progressive, and yes, it has to be an adaptive load so that your muscle continuously adapts. But if we are always, but if we're working constantly below a certain intensity, in other words, even if we're loading a muscle, even if we're progressively increasing the rep count, even if we're progressively increasing the uh, the resistance, but we're always working maybe two to three reps away from failure on that muscle, or we never push that muscle, then the intensity isn't really high enough. And intensity is a word that perhaps I didn't use last time. So what do I mean by intensity? You know, are we going close to failure? Are we failing? Uh, how often do we need to do it? And I think the answer is, you know, you do need to bring that muscle to failure uh, in order to, to generate a new response. Um, you know, how many reps does it take? Well, that's up to, that's up to the program, up to your coach, up to yourself. Um, but you know you want to be that that muscle is hit a point of fatigue that you know there isn't another rep in there. You know, do you need to do it every time? No. Uh, you, you can do it a few times a week, or maybe you can do it once a week on that particular muscle. As long as then it recovers and you can bring that same intensity back onto that muscle. So for example, you know, we've had people that were lagging in shoulders, lagging in quads, lagging in hamstrings, you know, and they've all managed to bring the body parts back up. I mean, Firstly, it's awareness, you know, so when they're now training that body part, they're pushing harder, you know, they've isolated those moves and maybe dedicated a session for it. So that is a big advantage, you know, obviously when you study your physique, because a lot of the time, lagging body parts is also because you, 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 you didn't even know it was lagging. Um, and then the other really big thing is the form. I can't stress enough. If it's a mechanical point that you, you know, you can't get to a thing. So if shoulders, if you're, if it's a chest and you're rounding your shoulders, you know, if it's your quads and you, you're kind of moving your back a little bit, you know, if it's your hamstring or your glutes and you can't really connect to it or you're not getting the full range work on motion um, you know on a particular muscle group so again those are things that will bring those body parts up now what I really wish to emphasize and stress is this that sometimes it can take longer to grow certain body parts so you know don't be discouraged if it takes longer because you also you have to understand the composition of that particular muscle you know you may be training it exactly like textbook but your composition of the way your fibers uh, your fiber count is you, you may have more fast fast twitch than slow twitch so it may be that you've been working on the wrong uh, rep range so perhaps try and alternate your rep range as well okay as an experiment and see how that goes you have nothing to lose if that body part isn't growing but it's not shrinking anyway so try maybe two to three weeks or try one day a uh, very high rep and then another day uh, very high intensity uh, or very high uh, load but lower lower reps so you know to, to try and diversify the stimulus to find the one that is right for you now if you're working alongside a coach obviously he will be able to to identify those things but nevertheless 
uh, try and see whether also you're feeling a pump uh, or whether you're feeling muscle soreness. Now, I have said in the past that muscle soreness is, does not determine necessarily hypertrophy, okay, but it does determine whether we've hit that muscle correctly. So if we can't get the same feeling, then we know we're not getting to that muscle in the same way that you would one that's growing. So it is definitely a connection and then it would definitely be an intensity issue as well. Okay, I hope this helps. This is the second time I try and attempt this, but I think I, I think it's such a big thing that it may require more and more discussion. It may require perhaps uh, an article or something. So um, I'm really grateful for the uh, follow and I'm really grateful for the questions. Thank you.